All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of, oh boy, bear with me, it's a long name here, folks, the SDHI Strobomatic Warning Rotator Light, which is being made by forum user Some Guy, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, lights which rotate and strobe, and yeah, it's a pretty small mod. In fact, I actually think it may be the smallest mod we've ever looked at on this series, because all it is is five parts, and the only difference between those five parts is the color of light which is rotating. That's it. But there's just something about this pack that I really love. It just seems to add that extra immersion value for me, which I, I, I think is what it is. It adds that little bit of extra thing to your ship. It's completely useless as far as, you know, it doesn't help you fly better, it doesn't have science. It is purely for aesthetic value, but it just adds that little bit of extra pizzazz to your ship, or, per or perhaps even a little bit of extra realism to the ships, which just makes it that much better. And why I think I really have fallen in love with this little pack of lights. So yes, let's jump right on into the VAB and have a gander at what these five individual little parts are and yeah, what they do. So let's grab our Mark 1 command pod here, zoom in and head to page two of the utility tab where you'll find, like I said, five parts of just differing color. And if we grab one of them and pop it on, you can see it's not exactly the largest of parts. In fact, it's quite small, and I wish I could zoom in more. The Ooh, actually, I have an idea. Hold on one moment. Bear with me, folks. I just thought about this. If we move this over this way. Oh, yeah, there we go. Much better, closer view. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm sure there's probably many other things I could have done, but hey, simplicity. Uh, but yes, here is our rotating warning light. And now these do use electrical charge at a rate of 36 per hour, so they really don't use a whole lot of energy to keep going. But if you do have a fair number of these on your ship and you just keep them running constantly, it still will do a sizable impact to your charge. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, if you're only having them on for a short amount of time, they really don't take up much charge at all. Again, 36 per hour. So you don't really have to worry about your batteries too much. And besides the look of them, it's just different colors. So we have a blue one here, a green one, the yellow one, of course, that we popped on first, a red one, which I think is my favorite because, you know, warning lights. And finally, a white one here, which will pop right there. And all in all, I really love the look of these things. They're very, very well modeled and pretty well textured. The base, eh, it just seems to be like a solid grayish black, but the little circuitry in here, the little placard at the back of the light, all I really do enjoy, and just the overall modeling is very, very well done, especially, I love the, I, I guess it's a circuit board in here, I'm not 100% sure if that's the correct thing to say, but yes, and then of course we have the actual rotating light bit up here, which will spin around when activated, and yeah, that's the strobomatic warning rotator lights. That's really all there is to say about them. They're beautifully textured, beautifully modeled, and they're lights that spin. Now you can add them to action groups, and this is actually one of my gripes with this particular mod. Uh, if we click this, you see we have all these options of deactivate, activate, deploy, retract, toggle. These three options here, deploy, retract, and toggle, do nothing absolutely nothing. The only ones that are useful are activate and deactivate, which is actually kind of a pain, because if I want to turn on the lights, I have to have one action group with activate, and then another act action group with deactivate. If rather we could use this toggle, that'd be preferable, where we could just toggle it on and off, but sadly we don't seem to be able to. You have to either activate or deactivate, which is, as I said, just really my one gripe with this particular mod, but other than that, I really like it. So let's take a look at a crappy little demo ship that I made earlier. Ah, uh, yes, I, I had to add a probe core to it because I forgot that I sent all of my Kerbals into space with another demo ship we'll have a look at momentarily. But yes, if we send this out to the launch pad, we can take a look at these lights in action. And the whole thing about them, you know, rotating. 
which is why they're cool. And really, they took heat damage already? We're on the launch pad. Huh. They didn't on my other ship, and I launched that one into space. Interesting. But here we go. That is the blue light. It actually might be a little bit better to uh, fast forward time a little bit until it is darker so we can see a bit better. The light, yeah, that's a little bit more prominent. Excellent. So we got the blue light flashing along there very nicely. We then, of course, have our green light a little bit brighter. Gotta love it. And then, of course, we have our red light here. And then, of course, the yellow. And finally, the white light. There we are. Now, you'll notice on these ones on the side, uh, they are only showing up down here and sort of up here, but that's purely because of the curvature of the uh, command pod. You'll notice on the white one on top, it is just going around and around somewhat hypnotically. That's quite cool. And uh, yeah, so don't have to worry about that. It's just I you know, was showing this to one of my friends earlier, and he was like, well, why isn't lighting it up the whole thing? The well, curvature of the capsule. But yes, overall, very good good little lights. I do like them. They don't exactly produce a whole lot of light, but that's not really their purpose. Their purpose is to be a warning light of sorts. I mean, this is the sort of stuff you see in factories or hospitals or, of course, in old movies where they have the warning lights going on everything. And it's just a cool little aesthetic use to give your ship that little bit of extra, like I said earlier, pizzazz. It's a good word. I should use it more often. And yeah, that's the demo of the lights. So, well, how could could you use them to make your ship better? I put a little ship in orbit earlier to uh, sort of answer just that very question. Because uh, I've been playing around with it trying to see what all I could do with them to make things better. And so I have the strobomatic station up there in orbit, so let's go and fly that. And I've got a couple of uses that I thought of here to perhaps give you some interesting ideas on what you could do for your craft. So let's actually... Rotate ourselves a little bit here. And it is nighttime, or uh, well, we're on the sort of darker side of the planet now, so that should actually work well for the lights. Now, of course, we have this big cargo bay up in here, which we could have deploy and just open up. But what's the fun in just opening it up? And, you know, it'd be cool to have some warning lights, perhaps, when it's opening. So if I hit one, it should start opening up. And we have the yellow lights on the inside spinning around and, you know, warning people. Oh, uh, yeah, cargo bay, it's, it's opening. It, yeah. <laughs> One particular idea of what you could do. Now, another is when activating solar panels. I thought it might be a cool idea to have, like, some flashing lights to show that they are deploying. So we've got these green lights going while these solar panels do get deployed. There we are. Wonderful. Now, of course... Oh, God, which one do I have on three? I think three is the red lights. So if you have an emergency... You hit that action group, and there go off the red lights around the ship, warning that, well, we have a little bit of a problem, guys. And then if you just need sort of general, I guess, flying lights perhaps might be good. We have the white ones on action group four. And the final one that I thought of was, you might notice around the hatches, I've put a little blue light as basically an indicator that, ah, uh, yes, here is the hatch. This is where you can come back into the space station. So if you've been flying around and you are on the dark side of the planet and you're on an EVA, you'd know that, okay, the blue strobing light is what I need to go to to actually get back in the ship. And, you know, this is just some of the ideas of things you could do with it. I think my personal favorite is the cargo bay because, you know, how many sci-fi movies have you seen when there's a cargo bay door opening and there's flashing yellow lights? It's been in... It, it's essentially a cliche at this point, but I love it. It's great. So we can just open and close the cargo bay here and we have the lights going off in there. It's, it's just... It's just fun, and who wouldn't love that? Uh, but yeah, that's that's just some of the uses that you could potentially get out of this mod. Uh, I'm sure you guys could think of a whole load of other things, and if you do, I'd love to hear them, or, well, preferably see them, so, you know, if you do come up with any fun lit-up ships or, you know, so what am I thinking? Colonies! There's the word! Colonies are bases on other planets. I would love to see what you could do with these lights. So, you know, tweet them, Google+, uh, Facebook, whatever, to share them with me. And yeah, that's going to be it for this episode today. Not really a whole lot to talk about. 
And yet, I've gone on talking about it for probably more than I should have. But yes, that is going to be it. I hope you have enjoyed the episode. And if you would like to check out these lights for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description, as always. But yes, I hope you do, or did enjoy, rather, and that you do come back for the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one. Now, I'm going to go make a Kerbal Disco. I think that might be entertaining. Later, folks.